arriving to take over yet again. President Yori Museveni being sworn in at the Kolo Independence Grounds. Enthusiasm from the crowds. Museveni's 30 year rule so far has been about consolidating regional peace. He is now looking for a change in focus. The NRM has been in power for the last 30 years and has brought Uganda from the abyss of insecurity and despair to now the threshold of becoming a middle-income country by 2020. In a display of continental solidarity, South Africa's Jacob Zuma, Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe, Omar al-Bashir of Sudan, and Tanzania's John Magufuli, among others, attended. Museveni swept to victory in February's election, beating seven other candidates. An election that was disputed by the opposition. The High Court upheld the results. A calm atmosphere here after President Yoweri Museveni swearing in. He may not have been everyone's choice, but the majority's. And while many are content to celebrating his big day, reservations remain on what to expect over the next five years. I think that this should be a better term. I'm optimistic, but most importantly, there are some critical sectors that he really needs to look at. The sector like tourism needs more funding for marketing this country because the potential is huge and we've not exploited it. What I would like to see uh, in the next five years is the fighting of corruption. And uh, I don't know how uh, the president is going to do, uh, uh, to do it, because corruption, for me, I feel corruption has started from the root. It's not only in top government officials, but even down, down, up to the village level. While Museveni has in the past been credited for economic recovery, restoring stability and fighting HIV AIDS, his vision for the next term remains a simple one, one of steady economic and infrastructure progress. Leon Senyange, ACBC News, Kampala.